Namaste. Today I'm going to talk about the anatomy of nasal cavity. Hope you're going to like it and subscribe my channel. In this nasal cavity, I'm going to go in detail about the roof, floor, anterior wall and the medial wall of the nasal cavity. Before starting with the nasal cavity directly, first of all, I would like to go a detail about the nose. This portion, what you have seen in this picture, this portion is known as the nose. The nose consists of the two parts. The one who you, which you have seen, this portion is known as the external nose and this portion is known as the internal nose. And it is also known as the nasal cavity. Now the detail of the external nose. This portion is known as the external nose. It is pyramidal in shape and it is seen on the face like a projection. It can see of the parts, it can see of the tip. This portion is known as the tip and it is also known as the apex. This portion is known as the root of the nose. And the connections between the tip and the root of the nose, this portion which is like a bridge, this portion is known as the dorsum of the nose. When you move downwards, there is a present expansion of the nose and forms the opening. This portion is known as the nostril. The medial to the nostril there is a piece of the cartilage. This cartilage is known as a nasal septum. Laterally, the muscular part will be present in the nose and this portion is known as the ala of the nose. Now the framework of the external part of the nose. The external part of the nose consists of the bone and cartilage. This upper part consists of the bone and this lower part consists of the cartilage. Now in the upper part which form the bony part are this bone is known as a nasal bone. And this bone is known as a frontal process of the maxilla. And this portion is known as a notch. That is a nasal notch of the frontal bone. Now the lower part. The lower part consists of the cartilage. Within this cartilage, there is a piece of this part of the septal cartilage and this is the anterior borders of the septal cartilage. When you go laterally, there is a piece of this cartilage which is known as a lateral cartilage. When you move downwards, Towards the ala, there is a piece of the cartilage. This portion is known as the alar cartilage. Now the skin over the external part of the nose is thin over the bony part. Over the bony part, this is the bony part. Over the bony part, the skin is thinner. Whereas to the cartilage, uh, cartilaginous part, what will happen is that the skin is thicker. Now the arch is supplied to the external part of the nose. It is supplied by this artery. This is known as a dorsal nasal artery. And it is the branch of the ophthalmic artery. Beneath the orbit, there is a piece of the one more artery. This is known as an infra or vital artery. And it is the branch of the maxillary artery. When you move downwards to the ala, there is a present small artery, this small artery. This is known as the ala artery and it is also known as the septal branch of the facial nerve. Now the sensor is applied to the external part of the nose. It is supplied by the external nasal and the infratrochlear nerve. 
This portion is known as this nerve is known as the external nasal nerve, which is a branch of the anterior ethmoidal nerve. And the anterior ethmoidal nerve is the branch of the ophthalmic nerve. Now, one more nerve that is present, this nerve is known as the infratrochlear nerve, which is also a branch of the ophthalmic nerve. When you move downwards, there is a present the one more nerve. This is known as the infraorbital nerve, which is the branch of the maxillary nerve. Now that we will go to the main heading that is the nasal cavity. After removing the cartilage, this is the skull. After removing the cartilage, what will happen is that there is a piece of the cavity within this nose. And this cavity is known as a nasal cavity. This nasal cavity is divided into the half by a median nasal septum. This portion is known as a nasal septum. And it is present in the midline. Now the extent of the nasal cavity. It extends from the nostril, this is the opening that is present in the external part of the nose, and is go to the inner part, and there is a present the one more opening that is present. This portion is known as a cornea, it is also known as the internal nares. This is the extent of the nasal cavity. Now the boundaries of the nasal cavity. Now it is the each half of the nasal cavity that I am going to discuss about the boundaries. As I have already told you, the nasal septum will divide the nasal cavity into the two equal half. Now it's considered the roof. This portion is known as the roof. This portion is known as the floor. This portion, what you have seen, this portion is known as the medial wall. After removing the middle wall, there is the present of the one more wall that is present. This portion is known as a lateral wall. These are the walls that is present in the nasal cavity. That means the middle wall with a single. The middle wall with the single because it is a partition between the nasal cavity. Whereas the lateral wall with the two walls, that is the right lateral walls and the left lateral walls. That's why it has mentioned the lateral walls. Now the roof of the nasal cavity. It is narrow from side to side and this portion is known as the roof. And it is divided into the three parts. This portion is known as the anterior parts and it is faces downwards and forwards. This portion is known as the intermediate area. It is formed by the horizontal place, this bone which is known as a cribriform plate of the ethmoidal bone. And it is perforated by a olfactory nerves. Now you can see there is a piece of the gap between the cribriform plate of the ethmoidal bone. Within this gap, what will happen is that the olfactory nerves will pass us through it. Now the posterior part. This portion is known as the posterior part of the roof of the nasal cavity. It is formed by this sinus, which is present, which is known as a sp spinodal sinus. That means the posterior part is formed by the spinodal part, which is formed by the anterior and the inferior part of the body of the spinod. Now the floor. This portion is known as the floor of the nasal cavity. It is smooth and concave and it is much wider than compared to the roof. This floor is formed by the heart palate. 
and also it can say of the small part of this area which is formed by the soft tissue of the external nose. Now the floor is formed by the two bone which is placed. This bone which is present, this bone is known as the horizontal plate of the palatine bone which forms the heart palate. And also this bone is known as the upper surface of the palatine process of the maxilla. And together it is forming the heart palate. And this portion will form the floor of the nasal cavity. Now the meter wall which is also known as the nasal septum. This nasal septum consists of the two parts which is the bony part and the cartilaginous part. The cartilaginous part will be present anteriorly. This portion is the cartilaginous part which is present anteriorly and the posteriorly there is a present of the bony part. This medial wall or the nasal septum connects the roof with the floor. Now the detail of the cartilaginous part of the nasal septum. Within this, the one cartilage that is present, this cartilage, this cartilage is known as a septal cartilage. This septal cartilage is the major part of the nasal septum and it is quadrangular in shape. And also there is a present of the septal process which is present of the lower nasal cartilage. Now one more cartilage that is present, this cartilage is known as a vomeral nasal cartilage which connects the septal cartilage with this bone which is known as a vomer bone and it is a small cartilage. Now the bony part. The first bony part what you have seen this, this is known as a perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone. This bone is continuous with this bone which is the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone. And this bony part, this is known as a warmer. It extends from this area which is the body of the spinal to the heart palate. This is the heart palate. Now the artery supply. It is divided into the quadrant, that's the anterior superior, posterior inferior, mobile part of the septum and the posterior superior. Now this portion is known as the anterior superior part. This portion is known as the posterior superior part. This portion is known as the posterior inferior part. And this portion is known as the mobile part of the septum. Now the anterior superior part of the nasal septum is supplied by the artery which is ophthalmic artery. This ophthalmic artery is a branch of the internal carotid artery. Internal carotid artery gives rise to the branch which is known as the ophthalmic artery. This ophthalmic artery gives rise to the two branches that is the anterior ethmoidal artery and the posterior ethmoidal artery. This anterior ethmoidal artery will supply this quadrant which is the anterior superior part of the nasal septum. Now the posterior superior part is supplied by this artery which is known as the posterior ethmoidal artery. Now this portion is known as the posterior inferior part. It is supplied by this artery which is known as the branch of the spinopalatine artery. Now what will happen is that the external carotid artery will give rise to the maxillary artery. 
The maxillary artery will give rise to the branches which are known as the spinopalatine artery. Now this portion is known as the mobile part of the nasal septum. It is supplied by the branch of the maxillary artery which is known as the greater palatine artery. And also it is supplied by the branch of the external cataract artery which is known as the facial artery. This facial artery will give rise to the branches that is the superior level artery. The superior level artery will give rise to the branch that is known as a septal branch. And it get anastomosis with each other at the mobile part of the nasal septum. Now the kissel back area of the epitasis. This area is known as a little area which is present in the nasal septum. It is located in this area which is the anterior inferior part of the septum. It is very highly vascular because there is an anastomosis of the artery that is present in the nasal septum. That means there is the anastomosis of this posterior artery, posterior mortal artery, anastomosis of the branch of spinal palatine artery, anastomosis with the branch of the greater palatine artery, anastomosis with the branch of the septal artery, which get anastomosis. And this area, small ulceration, will lead to the formation of the profuse bleeding. And this lead to the formation of the arterial hemorrhage. And this area is known as the little area. It is also known as the area of epitasis. It is also known as the Kieselbach area of epitasis. Now the venous drainage. Again, it is divided into quadrant. The anterior superior part will drain into this vein, which is known as the superior ophthalmic vein. Posterior inferior part will drain into this plexus, which is known as the pterygoid plexus. The moral part will drain into the internal jugular vein through the facial vein. This is known as the facial vein. Not the lymphatic drainage. The anterior part will drain into the submandible lymph nodes. The interior and the posterior part will drain into this lymph nodes, which is known as a retropharyngeal lymph nodes. The upper parts get company a few lymphatic accompanying the olfactory nerves and drain into the CSF. Now the nerve supply of the nasal septum. Okay. It is supplied by this portion, this nerve, which is known as the anterior ethmoidal nerve. It is supplied by this nerve, you can see this nerve, which is known as a long spinal palatine nerve. One more nerve that is present posterior to that, this nerve is known as the short spinal palatine nerve. One more nerve that is present here towards this portion is the branch of the anterior superior alveolar nerve and also this nerve which is known as the external nasal nerve. And these are the nerve supply of the nasal septum. This finishes the nasal cavity with the roof, floor and the medial wall. Hope you're going to like it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.